Hey guys, it's Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. I am back the same day as the previous video, so I kind of am doing two videos a day, I guess now, which is kind of cool. Um, well, at least on the weekend anyways. Uh, but yeah, I kind of finished this off a little bit and um, sorry, I know I got really rambly at the end there. Um, sometimes I just get lost in my head and, you know, spurt things out lately. So. Yeah, I kind of went on a little bit of a tangent there, so sorry about that. Um, what I did was I did sign. I did do my signature. This is my little signature. So my initials are CCF, so I just made them mirror each other. Um, and then I signed my signature there. And then I put on the Sari Silk on our pull-out journal card, so you can write on the back. There's a collage, and I did my little signature and the year again there and uh, yeah now this is ready to have something tucked inside so let us get this in here like this and no how did I want it I want it to go this way so that it can fall through like that and I'll, I'll probably put a charm or something on the end of this. Maybe a big butterfly or something. But yeah, so let's put this aside for now because I want to work on uh, something that I saw on Gail and Gustinelli's channel, but she got it from Carrie the Crafter. So, and I need all my stamps in the world out for this because you never know what you're going to need. And so I have a plethora of things that I pulled that I might want to use. So sorry. I got a few, just a few stamps that I might want to play with. Not these ones though. Um, yeah, so, oh, this one maybe. So yeah, I'm definitely having fun being back in my studio playing and creating and all that stuff. I think I want to start with a darker piece. And for these ones, you're going to get your favorite stamps. So I think what I want to do just to keep in the theme of this, of the butterflies, I pulled out mostly butterflies. I should pull out... Some flowers too, I guess. There's another butterfly. So there are some flowers, but I mean more like botanical ones. Like, oh, I know where there is kind of one that I was thinking about. And I just have to find my stamps. What did I do? I just did a big kind of reorganization and I cleaned up so well that I now can't find them. Like I literally just had them. Is this another symptom of something? <laughs> I, I really think, guys, I might be manic depressive. I honestly do. One minute I'm all depressed, the next minute I'm just so happy and giddy about this. Like, yep. That could very well be certifiable. All right. Why can I not find these stamps? Okay, there's one right in front of me. But I need the other ones. Ha, ah, bollocks. Bollocks, bollocks. Okay, well, that just means I need to stop. <sighs> take a breath, take a breath. Because this is where I start to panic. And we don't want to panic. Ah, there they are. Okay, see? See? You just gotta stop. Take a breath. Look around. And you will find what you're looking for. So I have these ones that house some other critters. And some other stamp blocks. This one might be fun. We could use that. I got most of these for my dearest Boo, Rosanna, Banana my savior and that's not what I want though I 
have more botanical like ones and I feel like they are some of the stamping up ones I just gotta find them nope 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 this obviously means I have way too much crap like I said guys I've got like thousands of dollars here Well, it wasn't in there and it wasn't in there. Then it can only be in here, Ooh, which is another tote of, as you can see, I didn't put my sorry silk away. Another tote of magical goodness. This is just like a fraction of what I have, guys. It honestly really is insane. Be able to use that we'll definitely be able to use that i'm just looking for like botanical type stamps as well definitely use that oh here we go here we go i knew i had some stuff okay i think that should be enough oh but this is cute too lavinia stamps okay Let's work with that. So basically what they did, if you haven't seen the videos yet, Carrie the Crafter or Gail Gastinella, Gastinelli, they, Gail is the one who really got me onto this. I stumbled across her video one day, um, actually funny enough, during a dark moment, to tell you the truth. Um, and uh, yeah, she just... Um, she kind of saved my life as well, I guess. Gail, Rosanna, Mama Bear, without you guys, I don't know where I'd be. Yeah, that's uh, that was an aha moment. This really is like therapy, you guys. Just being able to think all these thoughts out loud. I'm coming to a lot of realizations about stuff. It's good to talk it out. Everybody should go to therapy. Especially if you can craft while you're doing it, right? Cra and I say crafting is my therapy. It's what... Oh, it just It's all coming together, you guys. The crafting through the chaos of life. My crafting is my therapy. Unapologetically me, you know? Like, it's all coming together. Okay, so you're not here for that s service announcement. So <laughs> let's continue on. So what we want to do is... This one, I want the images to be more on the, I don't want to say perfect size side, but more prominent, like to be closer to the full image. It doesn't necessarily have to be the full image, but I think the more image we get, the better it's going to look. If you yeah. pick it up what I'm putting down. Okay, so let's just for, okay, this is a brand new one. And... Oh, you guys, have you seen the advertisement for the magic map? Now, I am not buying anything for 365 days, but it doesn't mean I can't look. <laughs> Let me tell you, when day 360 freaking eight turns over, I'm going to get me a magic map. Sure am. I sure am. Um, yeah, what was I doing? Right, stamp. Yep, yeah, so needless to say... I still look at all those wonderful tools that are out there and I still have a want and a need to craft. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. I can live with that. You see how that's not quite perfect, but it's still fairly well stamped, right? So let's do that. And I kind of want this to look like a reference book right so on this one I'm gonna go right there and then we count to five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay turn that off and 
and then and then we find a butterfly oh i should have done a butterfly up there and the flipping things down there but that's okay because i'm making this journal and that's the way it's gonna be i'm not gonna stress about it but it would have been a lot better if that was down there and that was down there i'm just saying if you're gonna do it me too you know, if i was to do it again yeah, i would switch it around yes ma'am i would yes siri bulb okay so let's do this one and how are y'all doing if you're new here you just stumbled across this here channel tell me tell me what you think of it and if i'm already offending you which very well may have happened um i do apologize i'm just giving you a auditory inside to the workings of my old click clock tick tock brain of mine it's a scary place to be i like that actually but it would have been a better you know where i'm going anyways next time that's what i'm going to say from now on next time just means i have to craft it again no no please don't make me craft that would be wrong oh and i didn't really want to that's okay that's okay we can work through it just watch and you'll get what i mean okay i had saved those masking pieces from the last project we did so let's go ahead and reuse those because i can't buy anything except for glue so go ahead a smaller piece well you can always rip it shall I? like it doesn't mean that you can't rip it oh hello yeah i'm sorry if i offended anybody with my potty mouth and my musings this is just the stuff that came out of my head hmm i wonder Hey Siri, uh -huh. can you say shit on YouTube or will you get fined? I won't respond to that. You won't respond to that. Well, hmm. Oh, hello. I guess that's something I'll have to figure out. In fact, you guys will probably have figured it out before me. Because uh, uh, I'd have to like definitely edit my video. Right, there is that. So, okay, let's just do that. Um, okay, so the next thing we need is some script. And I wonder, 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 what am I do? Who, who wrote the book of love? You know, all of this, uh, do I want to use that one? I think I want to use this one. Yeah, let's do some different text. It doesn't all have to be scripture. Or scripture? Script? Script? Script. Scripture is from the Bible, shall I? <laughs> I just had like a, a really funny thought. <laughs> this is, uh, it's, uh, it's my book of revelations. I'm having all these revelations while making a book. It's my book of revelations. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry. Oh, I, don't, I don't know if you guys listen to podcasts at all, but um, this weird humor. Uh, yeah, it reminds me of that channel. Um, it's called uh, 
true crime and cocktails and the co-host is someone from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, and I'm from Regina. And her cousin just happens to be um, Lauren Ash from Superstore. Um, she plays Dina off of Superstore. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they get a little, little schmammered. And, uh, and I love that they did a, they use that word too, schmammered, because that's uh, definitely a Saskatchewan thing, I think. But uh, yeah, so they, they kind of get a little bit schmammered and, oh, I like it, but it's a little, yeah, I have to not push so hard and it's not straight, but that's okay. Ah, why'd you just pull that up? Yeah, then come poop. But yeah, I really quite enjoy their humor and, um, you know, sometimes it can be a little dark, but then they also like do these crime investigations of like cold cases or, you know, just you know, typical podcast, crime podcast, but their humor, oh my Lord, it's so flipping funny. And I listen to them when I'm at work, sometimes I just like, <laughs> you know, get kind of blurt out. Sorry if anyone was trying to sleep there. Sorry, Rosanna, go back to sleep. I love you. Um, don't, don't do it upside down. That was close. So that's, um, oh, how am I going to do this? I might have to get my head in the way. Oh, it'll be fine. Just do it. Uh, yeah, I really quite enjoy listening to them. They really make you laugh. Man, you get to listen to true crime. What could be better? I think that's like a prerequisite every legal assistant has to like a true crime podcast i'm sorry we cannot hire you because you did not like or because you like true crime oh well not what i wanted but not a shame either so i accidentally double stamped over top of here whatevs this is kind of crooked me Forgot that I would need to stop on the bottom. Meh, couldn't totally see the outline that the piece of paper was there. Oh well, right? Oh, and I forgot that this has a gloss to it, so I'm gonna have inky fingers. Okay, well. Say la vie, que sera, sera, what daddy will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Sorry, there I go singing again, and I have the world's worst voice. Okay, there we go. Oh, and I can just use this for something too. I just made my own decorative tape out of masking paper. There you go. If you're not already doing it. Maybe I just invented something else too. So save all your, use these post-it removable labeling tapes as your, see, I totally know what I was doing. I didn't just make this up on the spot. This is a well-known fact that I invented. So here you go, free of charge, this other little tidbit of information. Post-it removable labeling tape for your masking paper. Also use a decorative tape. You're welcome. Okay, look at me. Just. Now I'm gonna to have to come up with my own line. Right, copyright that to copyright, copyright. Okay. What do you think? Isn't that cool? Okay, we've gotta do the other side though. And then there's another part that we've gotta to do to it. All oh, right, and we're only 19 minutes in. Score. Okay, we may only get one done, but that's fine. I kind of want more botanically, Bota botanically, botanical. See, yeah, it's supposed to look like this. See how, oops, would you like some Tylenol PM? Sinus, sorry, Tylenol sinus daytime. It's not even the good stuff. It's not the nighttime, sorry, okay. Um, so you see that little bird there? 
Yeah, so it's supposed to have an image like that, and then you see how the text is going around like that? It's kind of it's supposed to be like that, like a reference page. You know what I mean. Same thing with this one. Hey, you know what we could do? We could actually use these. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, 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 sorry. Blinded by the lights. Woo! Stop it. See that? That's what I'm trying to show you. Okay. My field label's upside down. Interesting. Okay, so moving on from that, let's just do... Let's just do a page of those then. Why not? Nobody can't say we can't do it. This is my studio and what in my studio, what I say in my studio goes. There, that's what I wanted to say. Look at me using my craft supplies that I haven't been using. Look, I these, I've had these stamps for years. And I used the numbers before. Like, jeez, what a waste of, not even all the numbers. What a waste of money if I'm not using it. Like, what do I think I'm saving it for? The second coming of Christ? Must be. Sorry if I offended anybody who's religious, but hurry, what am I waiting for? Waiting for the end of time to hurry up and arrive. Oh my God, I am going to die, you guys. See, this is it. Like, it all circles back. Isn't that the worst phrase ever? I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you say it. Please stop saying it though. Circle, let's circle back on that. You know what? Let's go ahead. Yeah, we can definitely circle back on that. Just stop. Oh, there's so many assistants on the other end, other other side of the files that that's what they say. And I'm like, could, could you make, just, no, stop, please just make it not do that. I think I like it like that better. Okay. Before. Boop, boop, boop. 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 There you go. Okay. After. I like before. Okay. Who knows? I might mess up and do it wrong and then it'll just be whatever it's supposed to be. Right? Right. Okay. So here's a hint. Um, I could use my stamp platform, but with these ones, it's a little bit more difficult. So then I like to use these, but sometimes they don't stick very well unless I'm on camera and just to prove me wrong. Right. But, um, if you're worried about that, you could use double sided tape. However, the caveat to that is it will lift the image off of the back of your stamp. The other thing you could do is just use good old ooh -hoo. This video has not been sponsored by ooh -hoo. But if they'd like to, give me a call. Because, well, no, actually, I can buy a glue. Who am I? That was the one thing I said I could buy. So just put a little bit of ooh -hoo. You know what to do, ooh -hoo. And then uh, stick it on there a little bit. And then they should be good, good to go. And then you can just pull it off and wipe it off with a baby wipe and ta da 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 da. Okay, so this side, like that. I think what I'm going to do is just do the images on this side because they have a little bit of writing. And then that can be actually more writing space. What do you think? And then maybe we want to do something decorative around the edge here. Okay, apparently we're doing this one page at a time which you have to, you can't read a book more than a page at a time. The more you know, again, I'm like very philosophical. Okay. Yes, queen. All right. Do it this way in case you miss, because that could very well happen. <laughs> have you ever done that? Like literally dropped it and you're like, no. Everything's in slow motion. No, we can stop. Again, another thing that drew me to junk journaling is because it doesn't have to be perfect. It's perfectly imperfect. I said this side, right? 
on the right, correct? Oh, my dad used to hate that when people were driving. Should I turn here? Right. What, you want me to turn right? No. Well, you just said right. You know, he always made us say um, correct instead of right or left. Would you like, should I go left? That is correct. Instead of saying that's right. We have a, what, do you, uh, what were their names? Who's on first? That was, um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Abbott and Costello? Laurel and Hardy? Laurel and Hardy, I think it was. Yeah. If you know, leave a note below. Because I would like to know who that was, and I just don't have time to look it up on good old... Hmm. Hey, Siri. Sorry if I'm sending your 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 stuff off. Um, hey, uh, who did who's on first? Correct. Who is on first? No, seriously, Siri. No, who's on first? Who did who's on first? Who did who's on first? That's right. No, <laughs> this is not even funny, you guys. Let's try it again. Uh, hey Siri, sorry if I set your things up. Who did the skit? No Who's on first? Aw, thanks. Um, who did who's on first? Correct. Oh my God, they just seriously, oh, I've got a stalker. Hi, you wanna come in? Come in and play? My phone seriously just did the Laurel and Hardy, or Abbott and Costello act or whatever it is. I'm trying to find out who does the skit who's on first. Watch. Who does the skit who's on first? That's right. See? It's never going to answer me. Ugh. Okay, anyways, we've spent way too much time on that. So, this one we're going to have on the Baltum. What are you making? I know, I just want to. You want that Kleenex? Yeah. You can have that Kleenex. Let, let me just, perhaps you'd like to show the people it's not used Kleenex. I'm not giving my daughter used booger capes. <laughs> Could you hand me a booger cape, please? Um, it's a nice, nice, fresh, fresh uh, Kleenex, brand Kleenex. The best booger capes around. Okay, here you go. Take your package of booger capes. There you go. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. My brain is... Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, an owl journal, right? Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, see, I like, I think I'm manic. What? <laughs> I think I'm manic. Manic depressive. Which is okay, I mean... I could totally rock a mental illness, and I'm not saying anything bad about that. I'm saying, like, we need to speak more, speak out more about mental illness and mental health. And I guess they, it was not illness. Politically correct not to say that anymore, I guess. But you know me, I'm just going to apparently put my foot in my mouth at every second I get. So it's, no, it's important that we all acknowledge that every single person is going to have a bit of a mental moment in their life. So let's not pretend that everybody has their smarties in a row because <laughs> whoever does, that they've got to be an awfully boring person. I think you have to have... And out of all the mental illnesses that I could have, which one could I rock the best? I personally think, and I think my mom would agree with me, um, I think I would rock schizophrenia like pretty dang good. Or what's the other one? Um, uh, the one where you have multiple personalities? Multiple personality disorder? Well, that was hard. Uh, because when I was little, I didn't have an imaginary friend. I was my own imaginary friend. Oh my god, this all makes so much sense. I probably have multiple personality disorder. Oh no, which one of your moms will you like? You're, you go up to your friends, like all the hip kids, right? You know, in, in today's society, some of them have two moms, some of them have two dads, whatever. Like, we don't care. Love is love. We get it. But you're like, 
hey, want to meet my moms? <laughs> yeah, want to meet my moms? Sure. So they go out, <laughs> go to meet, and you're like, uh, where's your other mom? Oh, just wait. She'll come in a minute, and everyone's waiting. <laughs> and suddenly I just, like, twerk into a person personality of, like, somebody completely different. Would you still love me if you had more than one mom? I mean... And you don't physic doesn't feel oh, that's fair. That's completely fair. Yeah, I would say that too. Okay, I'm going to leave this so that there's writing space. Might look a little odd. Me, yeah, it, it oh, well. depends what mood you were in. Right? I don't know. I'm pretty much liking this new cycle, Mom. What about you? <laughs> I don't know. Like honestly, I'm just like 100 miles an hour. What are you looking at? Oh, well, that's my, don't look at that. That's my boob. No. What? The speaker. Oh, the microphone. Oh, yeah, okay. Let me clip it back on. There we go. All right, sorry if you were rubbing up against me. Oh, that sounded bad, didn't it? Ooh, mm. ooh. Sorry to be inappropriate. This? That, that. A makeshift bus box. A makeshift bus box. Oh, it needs some wheels. Ah, the wheels on the bus go around. No, this is um, removing label tape. Remove, 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 can you spit? Me fail English? That's impossible. Removal lab, labeling. See, it's hard, right? It's not just me, it's hard. Yeah, so it's, um, it's this white tape and you can put it down and I was using it as masks to create that. It's pretty. You like it? Pretty. Oh, thank you. Pretty. pretty. It is, right? Okay. Super, see? She didn't say it was awful. She said it was pretty. Even with my mistakes, right? Okay. That gets a little creepy after a while, I'm not gonna lie. Speaking of creepy, how's your doll Nora? I don't know. Go get her. Show the people Nora. Okay. So, um, of course I can't buy any craft supplies, but it doesn't mean I can't look. So I went to a uh, vintage store with my girlfriend and I bought, okay, that door's moving on its own. That's already weird. Um, my daughter likes, what's her name, off of YouTube. What is it, Lexi? Uh, no, sorry, this is gonna bug me. I have to, and Lexi's not here to answer my question for me. Maybe her name is Lexi. Kelsey Davies. So not Alexis. Yeah. Kelsey Davies. And Kelsey Davies has a, um, she does these kind of haunted, um, haunted videos, spirits and stuff. And so she has a haunted doll. And so my sister wanted a haunted doll. And so we, at this vintage place, they sold her. What was she like? Five bucks? Ten bucks? Uh, like five bucks. Five bucks. Yeah, it was four ninety nine. So this doll was four ninety nine, and it's a porcelain doll. Oh my God! I know why it's four ninety nine now, and why it's creepy because it is possessed. They were charging such a low price because she is possessed. I don't think it's possessed. No, she has her like. Isn't she gorgeous though? Like, look at her beautiful dress. I, I have to say like that because I'm afraid that she's gonna show up with a knife in the middle of the night beside my bed. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, anyways, um, no, but she is gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. And she has five dollars and she has this. A built-in music box. Okay, that you've gotta agree with me, guys. That all has to fall under the creep factor, right? Does it not? But she's gorgeous. Please don't kill me in your sleep. Please don't kill me in <laughs> In my sleep. But then she, here, I'll give you Nora. Mm -hmm. okay. um, but she, uh, we were also playing with a spirit box app. And so we asked the spirits what, what the doll's name was and it said Nora. So that's how she got her name. So we'll see. She, she kind of looks like Victorian. Yeah, Victorian, I think so. If anybody knows any history about this doll, if this was once your doll, please contact me and let me know if it tried to stab you in the dark. Okay. All right, so I think the last thing I want to do here is, this is taking me a really long time to get through this page. Okay, hey, how much do you love me? Please, could you bring me some lemon water? 
I'd go, but I'm tethered to the computer and you, they'd have to wait for me. And they're very impatient. Can you hear them? Look, they're like, oh, just like, out the video? oh, shit, she knows. <laughs> Please, would you go? Thank you. I love you. Where do you get lemons? <laughs> you know what I mean. Mio, yeah, turkey. Bad banana. Uh, I'm. D yeah. What do you need? Remember how yesterday I said to the oh, mom, yeah. You actually said. Okay. I just have to. I'll be right back, guys. Important business here. One second. Oh my god. Sorry about that, guys. I. Uh, yeah, my son's. I totally forgot that my son's friend was having his mom come over to meet me because she, because the boys want to have a sleepover and she's never met me before and she didn't want you know wanted to make sure I'm not an axe murderer and. All I can think of, yes, I, what a perfect time to meet me during a manic episode. How lovely. So I'm pretty sure she's scared of me, um, but that's okay. We'll see if she lets her son stay here. Okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, you know what I want to do? Okay. Things are coming to me now. Things are coming to me. So the next step on here, if let's get back to what we were doing is to add like you can use watercolor pencils and then a little bit of water or and i didn't bring my water shuzz butt in a half i'll have to use the water pen then um unless you would run up and grab the water I can they, but i just paused them it would be awfully rude of me to pause them again it's it's my um a water bottle, no you know my yeah i have i just the water's up there, but I need the paint jar, the paintbrush jar, the one with the Mona Lisa on it. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you. Oh, I love you, pumpkin poo. You're the best pumpkin poo ever. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, so you can use watercolor pencils or just straight watercolor. I have, I have uh, somewhere around me close. I just had my watercolor paints because I was playing with them while my daughter was at dance. I took them with me to play. Oh, why does this have to be so hard? I thought I was organized. Oh my God, there's Nora. Oh, sorry, I wasn't expecting her. Uh, you didn't walk in here on your own, did you? Okay, okay, okay. I'm not sure if you need water in it, but you put some water in it that's great so now i'm having difficulties though but because i can't find oh i remember where it is <laughs> again i cleaned up and it and that's the problem when you clean up you lose things so just keep it in a mess and you'll know where everything is no i'm not paused i'm trying to find my stuff and in here Ooh. see i'm on a short leash i have a cord for my microphone that's hooked to me no i thought it was in here Oh, son of a turkey's leg. I don't know. Why am I losing my mind? Maybe if you just kept it oh. um, um, crafting thing. Cleaner. Is that what you're saying? I need to keep my crafting cleaner. Just keep it cleaner, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just keep it as clean as your room. How about that? Hey. How about we play that game? You want to go there? Let's go there, sister. Put up them dukes. No? Okay. You want to fight? We'll fight. Oh, maybe not because I'm tired now, but I did find, ta-da, no, I didn't, that's not it, I thought that was it. Maybe you should just pause it. And... Okay, hang on a second, guys. Okay, so I didn't have to pause you for long because it was literally right beside me. How embarrassing is that? Running around like a chicken with my head cut off and it was next to me the whole time. Nora moved it. She tried to scare me too while you were gone. <laughs> Forgot she was in here and I was like, ah, what is that? Yeah, okay, so I got this set off of uh, AliExpress. And I was curious to see if they would be good. Because you know, one is always hesitant when buying off-brand things. Uh, why is she right next to me? Yeah, move on, sister, move on. Okay, and but they're really good. It's called Madine, and there's 42 watercolors, and they come in this cool little case. Or <laughs> they come in this really cool cardboard box. 
but the layout of them is cool. So this is like a little, almost like a makeup sponge. And then they slide out like this. And then you have like a little palette here. And then you have your little water brush area. Isn't that great? So I like to take these to work um, when we're going out. So yeah, for like kids activities, um, we can't watch the kids dance. So, um, and it's just far enough that I literally would just be driving there and back. Um, if I was to like go back home, I'd have just literally have to turn around and come back. So um, I take this and play. Um, okay, so I'm waffling about here. As Julie would say, I'm waffling. And I was going to show you what I did with them for fun. But of course, guess what? That's right. I can't find it. So never mind then. We'll talk about that another day. We'll talk another day about that. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I know in my last video, I was going to tell you about my horoscope. Because it was apropos again. Hopefully I'm using that word appropriately. Otherwise, the vocabulary monsters will be after me. Okay, so it says Sunday, June 11th. A magical moment of opportunity is unfolding for you now. Maybe you can see it, Taurus, but you may be storing it in the category of fantasy since it seems too wonderful to be real. That's a good way to miss out on it, though. If you see a chance arising that makes your heart flutter, then seize the moment. Don't wait for a drumroll. Don't come up with a long list of reasons why it can't possibly be true. How can you go wrong if you choose to believe? You can't. Isn't that amazing, you guys? Maybe that means that this channel will take off and I can semi-retire. Wouldn't that be lovely? And I'd have more time to do this. Oh, that would be just so great. Even just having some little extra pennies to take a family vacation would be lovely. Who am I kidding? Um, all right, so I think for this papillon, yes, we oui, en français, uh, I'd like to do it. I got to do it orange. But is that going to look weird? No, it's not because I have a monarch in here, right? I don't, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that would tie in nicely. Okay. Oopsies. Oh, well, I'm going to use some more of that tape too, I think. I think that would look neat. So, orange. Orange, yippee, my neighbor. Um, and I could just use this little brush. What is this, a two? That looks good. Why not? So, yeah, I'll tell you guys that after. Um, water. I did not put water in. Oops. That made a weird noise. I just keep reusing this water bottle. I just store it down here because I don't have a sink down here. Eventually, I want to be able to get the basement finished and my studio actually studio worthy. But right now, it is is what it is. I'm making the best of what I've got. Okay. So yeah, I think I actually want to go orange and purple. As weird as that sounds, but let's try it. So... Just kind of, and here's what I want to do. I don't want to lose that completely because that has my, sorry, I said I don't want to lose that completely because it has magic mat on it. It's reminding me. But, so what I was doing um, is I have this smaller book beside me. Um, it's in a Ziploc bag that I carry around with me. But I do... Um, usually with a bigger brush. Let's try speaking, finishing the sentence, dear, that you started. Um, so I just kind of do little swatches when I'm trying to figure out how dark or light I want my, my color to be. I'll just paint little swatches and then I'll rip this up and use it for collage fodder. Okay, I just 
This is why it's probably better to go with the actual pencils, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I uh, want this more loose. And it's going to be, I need to like, just not overthink this, which I feel I'm doing. I just need to yeah, let the water do the work. That's it. That's better. That's it, Shala. You got it now. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. Oh, shows back. I think it's okay. I was just thinking that this is the pigment. I'm lucky it's not bleeding. But I also have to watch how much paper, or paper, water I'm putting on the paper as well to get the look I want. I should be more careful. But it will dry too and it'll leave probably an interesting watermark, so why not just go with it? Why stress about it? In fact, see this brush? Get rid of it. Don't go with that one. Go with a bigger one. Have more fun. Don't you were just dipping your toe into the fun there. Don't just dip your toe into the fun. Dive into that pool, girl. Are my thoughts scaring you yet? Because <laughs> Chrono's scaring me, I'm not gonna lie. Want more pigment here. Yeah, I like oops, just about put that in my awesome drink that my baby girl made me. Mio lemon water. Yummy. We've got our ice machine working again. Hoot hoot. And I fixed it. I did it all by myself. I didn't need my husband and I fixed our blinds all by myself. Didn't need my husband. Aren't you proud of me? Who, afterthought, should probably have something down and... Maybe a dryer. I might just turn my heater back on just so that it will dry quicker because of the heat in here and I can always lay it in front. So the next thing I wanna do is this beautiful lilac color here. And now we'll use this brush nice and moist. I know some people hate that word. Oh, makes their teeth itch. Oh, what now? It's Instagram. Who's calling? What's new on the good old Instagram world? What picture shall we look at today? Oh, that's, that's not exactly what I wanted. Just wash that off better. I just stuck it into the side where there was so much orange on the side of the bowl or the container. There we go. Should really have two jars, one clean water, one dirty water. But it is what it is. You would then have to dirty another container and I'm not in for that. I'm a minimalist. No, I'm not, but I'm trying to be <laughs> when it comes to dishes that I potentially have to wash and dry. That's all right. Or do I want to just embrace it? Look at me, throwing caution to the wind, willy-nilly. Here we go. How is it going to turn out? I don't know, but I think it'll be fine. Won't know unless we try. Not gonna get fired over it. That's the best part about this. If <laughs> you mess up here, you're not gonna get fired. <laughs> oh, and it creates a beautiful bloom on this side. It kind of reactivates the coffee on the paper. That's kind of cool. Okay, well, I will... Hello? Hello? 
I hear my door creaking open and I'm looking down below to see if it's the doll Nora. Nora, is that you? Let me just close that because that gives me the creeps. Whew, nobody there. That was a close call. I could be the first YouTuber to be axe murdered by a possessed haunted vintage doll. Can only do it once. <laughs> so if I'm going out, I better make it worth it. Better make it watch worthy. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, my worst nightmare's coming true. I'm not going to go to bed tonight. I'm not going to be able to sleep. That sucks. Okay. I did these. I kind of want some yellow on this side. So, are you guys actually able to see anything I'm doing? So, are you kind of getting the idea of what I'm doing? Because this is taking me an awfully long time just to do one. So, I do apologize. No, I don't. It is what it is. This is how long it takes, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's how long it takes. I can't change how long it takes. It takes what it takes. So you're either in for the ride or you're not. You're either subscribed or you're not. I don't know. You do you, I'll do me. See, look at me getting my sassy attitude on. What is that all about? I'm usually so worried about hurting other people's feelings. And now I'm like, mm, girl, who are you to me? Sorry, not sorry. Unapologetically me. Yep. Yep, yep. Ooh. This one. That. I love this color. This this color here. This could get torturous. So let's move this over here so I don't blow up the universe. No. Um why don't I tuck those in like that? Just take this one out. Nope, wrong one. See, that's why you had them all out, because now you don't remember which one it is. Yeah, numpty, as Julie would say, you numpty. Actually, no, not only Julie, um, my friend Miss Karen says that too, you numpty. I love her. I love her accent. I could listen to her all day long. She used to be a uh, in the Navy, in the Navy, in the British Navy. I tell you, she's, she is one tough coconut. Um, like she's just got, she's done so much. Like she's a beautiful woman. Um, but yeah, she's done so much. And, um, yeah, I've seen so much. She's got stories. Oh, and then she used to be a police, in the, uh, British police there call them bobbies I don't know where she was anyways but um I like that yeah so she's got some funny stories about a woman named Wendy with one eye who was a lady of the evening <laughs> one-eyed Wendy we got some good one-eyed Wendy stories let me tell you from her days back in England um I know it's not really on here Oh, somebody's texting me. Sorry, just a minute. It might be important. I like to pretend I have friends, but it's probably just my mom. Who is my friend? Let me. <laughs> it's not even that. <laughs> oh, you guys, I can't even wake this shit up. Oh, sorry. It's just a friendly reminder of my appointment with the psychiatrist on Wednesday. <laughs> I literally can't make this crap up, you guys. <laughs> Hello, who's calling? It's your psychiatrist. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. So this is me. Uh, <laughs> I told you guys, I wasn't lying when I said I thought I was losing my marbles. The proof is in the pudding. Yeah, so I'm going through stuff, needless to say. I'm going through some life stuff. I'm trying to get my head screwed on tight. I don't know if it's menopause. I don't know 
what's going on, but long story short, I'm having hallucinations, auditory, uh, olfactory. Um, I have had a few visual hallucinations, but it's mostly auditory and um, olfactory. Like, so I smell things that aren't there. Mostly burning things like burnt popcorn, burnt toast. No, I'm not having a stroke. We already ruled that out. Um, so there we go. I think that's cute, right? You can, it's hard to see on, on the um, video, but there is red on there. So yeah, there's that. I, I think that's going to be cute. I mean, I, I don't think the splotches are going to make me sad either. I think that just gives it character. And then I'll do some stamping around once it dries. So I'm going to put it next to my dryer. So we'll let that dry. And then I might as well just finish this page and then we'll call this one a video and um, we'll carry on. I'm sorry it took me a whole flipping video to get that page done, but again, it is what it is. And you're just coming along for the ride. So yeah, that's kind of what's happening. Apparently there is um, something called menopausal psychosis, menopausal schizophrenia. Apparently that's a thing. And since this has been getting progressively worse since 2018, when I had my hysterectomy, I know TMI, sorry, um, I think it, it kind of correlates, but I don't want to definitely, like, like I'm not going to jump on that bandwagon. I'm not going to go, oh, no, I read this, and that's what it is, because I'll leave that to the professionals, because <laughs> I'm not professional enough to do a gall darn thing right now. Although I will get it together by Monday. Oh, shoot, that's tomorrow. Mm, it's fine. It's, obviously, I'm filming ahead, right, because I... I'm just in this like creative buzz, like big time. So I gotta make hay while, while there's hay to be made. Uh, one more down here. What do we need? What would be a nice color? And I think this one, I really enjoy this color. It's like an avocado pea green. I don't know, it's a beautiful color. It's color. One 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 nine C, I think. I don't know. It doesn't give names. God, I feel like something keeps touching me. Like this is freaking me out. Oh, stop! Stop touching me! Please stop touching me. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah, that also happens too. Isn't that nice? Like something is playing with my hair. I swear to God, I, I literally cut all my hair off, you guys, because I was tired of the feeling of something playing with my hair. Like, I'm pretty close to buzz cut, because I literally felt like things were in my hair, like crawling on me. Yeah, so there's that. I'm probably having a mental breakdown on YouTube right here, right now. Uh, okay, so if you are experiencing any of these things, um, or see anything, maybe a spider or something floating around, I know, maybe I should have it pointed at me too, so that you can see what's going on, or if I'm just losing my mind. Um, how much time are we at? 58? Yeah, let's finish this. Let's do it, do it. See, I feel like there's something on me. Okay, so sorry guys. But this is how it starts. This is how it starts where I feel like there's things all over me. Mm hmm. So let's go with this blue. This is a pretty blue. So yeah, what I do is I just do these swatches, let them dry, and then I just rip them up for collage fodder. I can use them as one piece. I can use them as a whole. Um, I can draw little sketches in them, like little doodles in them, and then use them as like a focal point. There's endless things you can do. And this is a great way to stop freaking touching my hair. Sorry. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that is. Um, 
a great way to use up those book pages. I know we can use them as like folded pages and have you, but this is also a great way. And it's fun and it's relaxing to, so I could do all blues down, all greens down, but I'm, I mixed it up in the beginning, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, yeah, so, so yes, I could very well be losing my mind and the proof is in the pudding when the psychiatrist sent me a text message to remind me of my appointment. So I'll keep you all posted as to any diagnoses. Um, again, I like to joke about things to, because that's the way I cope with things. And I apologize if that comes off offensive, but that's just me. That's who I am. And I don't mean any harm or any, anything malicious. If I, you know, make fun of something, that's a very serious subject. That's, I'm sorry, that's just who I am. And I, I honestly am not saying it with a, a mean spirit or a mean heart to it. So, there's my disclaimer. All right, there's a lot of dancing of my dog upstairs. Oh, it's because it's supper time. I wonder if my husband was expecting me to cook. Hmm, <laughs> won't he be surprised when I'm not up there with food? He's old enough, right? He knows how that stove works and how the oven works. He can do it. I'm not the only adult here. Why is it? Why is it that kids are like, mom, 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 mom? Like, your dad's sitting right there. Like, that was the first bloody word you said was dad, not mom. So why is it all about me now? <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I love my kids. I love spending time with them. I love doing things for them, but not all the time. Oh, you know what? You look really cute on here. I want this to dry. Um, maybe we will go an hour and a half. That seems to be my sweet spot, guys, is an hour and a half. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. So if you like to hang out for half or an hour and a half, that's great. If not, let me know if it's just too long for me to get to the point. Um, Otherwise, I'm just going to go with the flow and finish when I finish. Okay. So many jokes to be made there, but so little time. Okay. I think I want this pink. This pink is pretty hot, I gotta tell you. It's so bubblegummy. Did you guys hear that there is a pink paint shortage because of the new Barbie movie? How bizarre is that? Like how many people are actually using bubblegum pink these days? Sorry, honey, we can't repaint the bathroom. They're all out of bubblegum pink. Can you imagine having bubblegum pink? Sorry if you do. I mean, don't get me wrong. My daughter's room is pink, but I don't think it's bubblegum pink. I don't think it's that in your face pink. Maybe it is, I don't know. Who am I to look at me just being rude again. Look at me offending the masses. Because I don't know how to calm my inner dialogue. Maybe I have Tourette's. No, that's other things. That's not the wrong one, Shella. I just seem to have no filters. I've all of a sudden lost all filters of what I should and should not say in acceptable situations. Yep. I may get fired tomorrow, so if I do, <laughs> we got to make this work, people. This will be my new business. Yes, it will. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like button for me because this may be my new career. Sorry, ma'am. How did you lose your job? Well, I was talking with a client in a meeting and forgot all sense of manners and filters. Okay. What do we want to do? I really like this color. So pretty. Um, I want to do a green. 
what do I want to do green? That's kind of green and that's kind of green. So let's go. Didn't really think that through, but it doesn't matter. Why am I worried about it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what green you use and it doesn't matter where you put it. You're just going to get the brush wet and put it down on paper. See? I have to talk myself through it. It won't matter because it's going to look better because you're not overthinking it. Like, why did we stop as adults letting ourselves be creative and, and just let go to whatever we felt? Like, I truly believe, I, I know I've said this in another video, but kids' art is truly the best because they aren't worried about what other people are going to think. They just draw what they, how they, their brain sees it or, and they're like, look at this picture I made. That's why I save all my kids' artwork show you some in just a minute but it's because they do their most amazing work when they're not worried about what other people are going to say or think and why don't we all do that the more you know so this is actually a piece of work that my daughter did yeah 2019 alexis did this in 2019 so she she is turning 12 next month so i'm too pretty to do math <laughs> um so um 2019 20, 21, 22, 23 so 12 minus four <laughs> so she was eight no <laughs> yes she was eight guys see this is i'm so bad at math <laughs> just and like I, I'm in the art world and I'm in the legal world and I'm so bad at math because I get so nervous whenever I think about having to do math, my brain's like, mm, shut down, don't say anything, look away, don't make eye contact if they ask you to do math, just don't make eye contact, look away. Uh, yeah, thank goodness that we have programs that, and calculators, right, otherwise, whew. And I fear, unfortunately, my daughter is the same way because she has, I, and I probably did too, I probably had an undiagnosed learning disability. Because, yeah, numbers in me, we just, uh, it's like they flip themselves upside down and inside out when I'm looking at them. And it took me so long to get concepts myself. So, and I tried, I really tried. I was like a 60s student, but I tried. I but I just didn't get it. And I remember nights at the kitchen table. I'm sure everybody remembers nights at the kitchen table with mom and dad trying to learn new math, right? Like new math, what is that? Like it's always new. And I, we're going through the same thing now too. Like they're changing it again. They're changing how they do math. Well, studies show that this is better than, like stop it. Stop. Like the parents just learned how to do it this way and now you're changing it again and we have to learn math all over again? No, no thank you sir. I already gained my general diploma. I, and post-secondary education, I'm done. I'm not learning new math for my kids. No, I love you, but I don't love you enough to learn math for you. I'm sorry. I draw the line there. <laughs> right? Like, what do they want from us? I'm not the one in school. Ugh. Speaking of school, you guys, this school, I really hope, really hope my kids get accepted into these charter schools because I cannot take them back there. Lord have mercy, I will get arrested. I will have a restraining order from those teachers, that principal. Honestly, honestly, I just can't. I talked about it in another video and I'm gonna not go there because that also really sets me off. Um, not in a good way. So moving on, shall we proceed to our next destination? I think I want this one again. Yeah, I can't feel, yeah, I might have to stop and do some deep breathing here. I can feel my chest starting to tighten. I'm <clears throat> not sure if it's the smoke or anxiety right now. So we'll just paint through it. Take a deep breath. <sighs> paint through it. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Paint through it. Okay. Nothing like having a, having to stop a panic attack on 
YouTube. Okay, I think it's passing, but I'm a little dizzy in the head, so let's take a drink of water. Yeah, it's so weird, you guys. I start, oh, I swear something is touching me. Oh, stop it. Um, yeah, I start to think about things and I get so agitated and aggravated and I just want to scream and, oh, I need one more. Um, we don't really have a brown, do we? Let's do a brown. Yeah, I just totally get fixated on it and I got to solve it and I'm yelling at my husband because I'm like, why isn't this important to you? This should be important to you. This is our children's education. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> right? Like, and he's like, slow the roll, sister. Like, calm it down. Things are not going to end. But in my, I'm like, no, it is. Cause she doesn't learn math. And blah, 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 she's going to become a hooker. And blah, blah, blah. And our kids are going to smell crack, sell crack. I mean, oh, here's a story for you guys. Like, they, this, here, these are general worries of mine. Because I had one son who I get a phone call from the school. Hello, Mrs. Frank. And as soon as you hear that, you're like, oh, crap. What happened now, right? What did my kid do? I mean, they're generally good kids, but you know when you hear that um, call from the school. And then it was, uh, yeah, Arden uh, was decided to do a little venture. I'm just going to put this by the heater so it dries. Um, decided he was going to do a little side venture and that he would um, sell condoms at school. I'm like, <clears throat> Like inside, I'm dying. I'm like, what? <laughs> Trying not to laugh, right? Because that's apparently inappropriate to giggle about that whole situation. Um, I'm like, I'm sorry now? Uh, yeah, he decided he would uh, sell condoms at school. And they weren't saying it nicely. I'm trying to remain calm to keep myself calm. They were actually, the woman was over the top, like disgusted with me. Like, do you know what your son was doing? Sorry. Um, so I was like, hey, lady, it's not like he was selling crack, okay? Like, things could be worse, dear. A nice, wonderful saying um, of my great grandma Heinemann as well, who, the one who lived to 108. She had great sayings, let me tell you. Again, that's my, my tattoo, is one of her sayings. But uh, yeah, could be worse. He could be selling crack. It's just condoms. I'm like, so what? son get in the car you know I had to go pick him up from school like honestly they're kicking them they're oh no they're we're sending him home for the day great that's lovely well they didn't send him home from school because that turned out well right I like it anyways that's all that matters um but I'm gonna ink it so yeah they they didn't so necessarily send him home for selling the condoms he got sent home because of his bad attitude towards the teacher of course he lipped back and that's why he was getting sent home and I'm like sister this is what I deal with every day welcome to the club right you get a little glimpse you know how your kids are always better for other people and then it's like they, they try you know and really to their benefit they try so hard all day to be good and make good choices right they're like I want the candy touch the candy don't touch the light or the candle though you know what Whatever, they try hard, oh, I want to punch him in the face, don't punch him in the face, right? They try so hard to keep their poop in a group all day at school. So when they come home, it's like a little <laughs> volcano. They're just like, rah, 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 they get it all out on you. Unfortunately, we're the ones that take it. But on the other hand, I love to know that my kids are comfortable enough to be themselves around me, right? This is really, this is what this is all about, right? Like, maybe I just finally blew. Maybe this is me having my spat. <laughs> I'm so tired of being, I'm tired of being so cautious of what I do and say so as not to do the wrong thing, look like a bad mom, hurt somebody's feelings, be politically incorrect, be insensitive. You know, we're taking all these, all these things through work, all these courses and I agree 110% with what they're saying. Yes, you shouldn't be mean to people who are of a different color and you shouldn't be, be judgmental and, you know, everything in different races and, and sexual orientations. I get all that. Like, I'm, I'm there for it. I'm down for it. I totally get it. But 
it's really hard when, what was that? What was that from? I don't know what that was from. That was ink from something. Oh, bollocks. Well, that's okay. Well, that, no, it's, it's fine. We're not going to have a panic attack over it. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. Because that just gives it character. It's a Warshack ink blot test. What is it? Okay. Oh, here we go. Now we're going to know I'm really crazy. Um, oh my God. I'm not going to lie. Do you want to know what that looks like? That totally looks like my boobs. One's bigger than the other. and One kind of cockeyed off to the side. That's what breastfeeding gets you. Oh my God. Why am I saying these things out loud? I'm so sorry. See? Oh, it, it just makes so much sense in my head and I find it so funny. I probably shouldn't say it out loud, but here we are. No filters. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Mm. Let's breathe. Let's breathe through that one, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. I like it. I like it. It's it's not perfect. I don't care. That's what I love about it most. <laughs> I just could like imprint my boobs on it. <laughs> anyway, sorry. No, I like it. It's good. It's good. Some lucky person is going to get this journal. Aren't they going to be lucky? And what do we have to do now? Um, we can't just sign it with my boobs. So let's actually sign it, sign it. Because I'm going to start signing things. Oops, there goes the lid the spot here for it, signing things that I create because I am starting to treat myself more like an artist because I am an artist. Fake it till you make it, people. Fake it till you make it. Okay. So if you are sitting there and you are crocheting, knitting, painting, doing junk journals, weaving, whatever you're doing, you are an artist. If you've made something with your own two hands, you are an artist. If you're a chef, a baker, if you lay brick for a living, you are an artist because it takes talent to do all those things with just these two hands, right? This is the best tool you're ever going to have is your two hands. I should insure mine <laughs> just in case, just in case I hit it big. Um, yeah, but you know, Again, philosophical me, like, be kind to yourself, be kind to your hands, be kind to your soul, be kind to your heart. You are an artist. Okay, moving on. I like that. Although I do feel like I need this inked and maybe that'll help stop the look of it being boobs in my eyes and maybe other people's. I don't know. I don't know what other people see. I can't speak for them. Yeah, I gotta keep reminding myself what other people think of me is none of my business. It isn't. It's the best saying I've ever come across. I don't remember where I heard it. I wish I remembered so I could give that person credit. If you know who said that, then please put it down below because I definitely want to give them credit for that. I'm not trying to claim that one as my own. That did come from somewhere. Not this brain, I can tell you that. Okay, so yeah, I like that better. It has the distinguishing kind of of there. Hello, hi, come on in. What's up? Can I ask, are we having anything for dinner? Oh, <laughs> you'd like to be fed? I suppose I could feed you. Okay. Oh, this chicken parmesan sound. Sounds very yummy. Okay, I have an idea. Make me make me. <laughs> Why don't you? You're old enough. Why don't it's long it's in the it's oh I love you. That would be great. How long will it take? You'd have to read the side of the box. But it's in the freezer. You just have to put it in the oven, or you can even do it in the air fryer, the mm -hmm. Pamper Chef air fryer. And then just make some rice. And there's even broccoli in the freezer outside as well. Does that all not sound very healthy and delicious? Does, but I can't Ask Dad to help you. No, Dad's mad. Why? I don't know. He just decided to be mad today. <sighs> he came in. He's like, okay, everybody, you gotta get off in 10 minutes. Go off of electronics. Yeah. Yeah. And 10 minutes go by. He says, okay, time up. And I was like, and I told Ginger, okay, I gotta go. Goodbye. And he says, so we're gonna do the drag race, or we're, we're doing a um, race. Um, 
and they said, are we going to do the race tomorrow? And I said, yeah. Dad says, no. Not even knowing what we were talking about. Okay, well. So he's been throwing a big temper tantrum. <laughs> okay, well, let's. And he's blaming him. everything on us. Okay, I, I can also see his side that if you guys have been on electronics all day, the least he could do is help make some dinner, help with that, help set the table, help clean up, that sort of thing. Everything's pretty clean. Okay, well, how about you pop on out and start dinner for him? That would be nice. Just ask him to help you with the rice. Actually, I know how to do the rice. Okay, well then, I'm just going to make myself chicken parm. He can make his own soup. That's not nice. Well, he's not been nice to me. No, but just because he's not being nice doesn't mean that you should not be nice. You you have to kill him with kindness, lovey. Mm. Okay? Go make him dinner. That might make him happy because I'm not going to make it. I'm going to go make my own dinner. Okay, love you. Bye. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that, guys. You got all of that. Um, yeah, I'm really normal. Me, guys, would shut everything down and go ahead and go make dinner. New me is like, yeah, I don't think I'm playing that game. I'm. You guys know how to cook too. You're old enough. Husband's old enough. I don't have to help you survive anymore. I gotta teach you how to survive on your own because I'm not gonna be here forever, right? Because I'm dying next week, right? I'm gonna fig literally figure out. I've got that brain tumor, right? Oh my goodness, I used to work with this girl and I love her to bits. And she was the same, she was a bit of a hypochondriac. You know, everything she was like, oh, I've got this, oh, I've got that. And one of the, she'd get nosebleeds all the time because it was so dry in the office. And, uh, um, we tease her about having a brain tumor and even when she left she went to Mexico for a while um, to live and, and serve over there with uh, with her church and and so yeah um, why is there a random sock in my craft room now that kid drops socks like all over the house honestly you guys wherever he is he's like pig pen he literally is that's my son Layton is pig pen like a sock and it's my sock why would my sock be in here? I'm not wearing socks today. I don't know. I can't explain it, guys. Maybe Nora brought it. I don't know. I'm slightly petrified again. Anyways, I don't remember what I was talking about. Moving on. Um, this is not as dry as I want it. So I'm going to pause you for a quick second and dry this. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I remember what I was saying now. I mean, I shouldn't have to be the only one to make supper and do all the cleaning, right? Like, I ended up hiring a cleaning lady just to do the main floor for me, just so I didn't have to clean all the freaking time. And they're old enough now, right? Please tell me I'm right. Can I get an amen, sister? Somebody, please. Hallelujah. <laughs> tell me I'm not being a bad mother. Like, they need to learn how to fend for themselves it's not like them I'm asking them to make a four course meal it's literally I buy food that's easy enough to cook or you know they're old enough to help or learn right are they not like 12 to 15 is pretty much what we're at right let me know let me know down below um so this is how the page ended out I love it I think it's cool and so I can just rip it up for fodder, but we do have a wee bit of time um, before we got about seven minutes before my minute, or minute, hour 30, because that's really honestly my sweet spot, I think. Um, or for now, anyways, while I'm losing my ever loving mind, let's do some doodling. Um, let's take a drink here and think about it. The first thing about doodling is don't think about it. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. So I am literally just doodling. See, nothing special about that. Maybe I should zoom in. I don't know where my, my remote went. For my camera, I'm just going to try and take a quick look and then I'll abort mission if, if it's not where I think it should be. Yeah, it's not there. Is it up here? Yes, it is. Okay. It's just a lot easier for you guys, a nicer transition if I do it with the remote rather than 
by hand on the, it's literally an old fashioned camcorder guys from like 2008. So see, isn't that nicer? Ooh, zoomy, zoomy. Okay. Um, yeah, just don't overthink it. That's going to go like that, like that. And then maybe I want some little kind of stars around it. Maybe they're bugs. I don't know. Want one there, one there. Okay. So there's my first doodle. Ooh, right. Nothing spectacular. Okay. Um, the next one, let's do a flower like this. Like that. Maybe it has these little nubbies on it. I don't know what they're called. And maybe this guy has two leaves on them. And then maybe we want some lines like that. I don't know. Okay. Um, let's use this one. I'm really trying to go from, go this way to give the bottom a little more time to dry. And so I don't actually stick my hand um, on top of this that's trying to dry. Um, try drawing a rose. Oh, this is very meditative and relaxing. Kind of nice. Okay, I don't want to do, go too crazy. But then I think I want some dots. Just like that. Oh, see, this is very calming. Maybe I need to doodle more often. Calm me down. Maybe my husband needs to doodle. <laughs> he said that he was going to get to for tantrum. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I find that funny. I'm so immature. Um, okay. Let's go. This one, let's just... Maybe... Trace it out and then do some circle flowers. I don't know how that's going to work. Oh. Maybe they're trees. Yeah, they're going to be trees. Changed my mind. These flowers are trees. And then I'll do another one here. They're just trees made out of circles. Yes, they are. This is a big tree and he's got like a branch. A little one going there. <laughs> it's, they're just silly, right? But they're relaxing. So, well, I think what I'll do is I will go upstairs and help make some dinner. It's probably what I should do. And I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, just remember, P.S. I love you.